Sam Villa here, my friends. I've got a cool little trick for you to do. It doesn't take long to do behind the chair. And once again, it's added value when you can share it with a client. Don't forget, let's take a mannequin out and while color is processing, teach your client some simple, easy tricks. This one's called a slip tie. It, it's a, a play off of coils. If you remember coils, I've taught you a coil a few years back. It's a play off of that called slip tie, working with two simple sections. We've gone through first and we prepped the hair with Iron Shape 11 working with a texture iron. We've worked with the texture iron from base all the way out to the ends. Reason being, once again, I love working with the texture iron when braiding, doing e up styles because of the fact it plumps up the hair shaft, makes it a lot, much more pliable and easier to work with. So, let's begin. I'm gonna drop out a piece that's just gonna hit right about the corner of her eye, just cause I like something to drop out. You can actually take everything in, or you can drop out just right at the corner of the eye there. So let's take everything there, and let's drop that out. First thing you're gonna do is take a vertical slice. Now I'm gonna get the client involved and help me out with this. So I'm gonna ask Sarah to bring her right hand up. She's gonna spread her fingers out. I'm simply gonna go in and place that section in between the fingers, and she'll just hold that and compress it for me. Take another vertical section on the opposite side. She's gonna bring her left hand up, she's gonna open her fingers, and now you place it where you need it. So those are the two sections that we begin with. Simple so far. Now we're gonna take the sections, okay? Leaving my dropout out, take the other section. Now we're gonna bring these two up, bring them up. Then all I simply want you to do is right, goes in front of the left, and now simply tie your shoelace. Just simply tie a shoelace, okay? Let's place it in between the pinky and ring finger, and let's take a look at that. Because I started slightly off to the left, you're gonna get a little bit of a lift there. That's cool, we're liking that. All right, let's take another vertical section. So Sam, yes, these are all vertical slices that you're taking on the sides of the head? Absolutely right, my friends, just simple vertical slices. Open up a finger, place it in between, and I want you to be very casual about this. We want these up styles to look a little bit more organic and not so overly done. So let's take another section in between the ring and middle finger. We've got two sections again, simple. Take the two sections I just took up, okay, that we just sliced. Notice how I work with my hands, okay? Once again, keeps it a little bit more organic and not necessarily working with a brush. Go to the section, second slice that I've taken. Now take this, which section goes in front? The right goes in front of the left, and now simply tie your shoelace. Now we've actually tied two laces so far. Now, here's where the trick starts. On the next third one, we take our next third vertical slice, try to keep them evenly, meaning that you're gonna keep about the same density each time you take a slice. This comes up, so we go up, come over to the opposite side, take another vertical slice, bring this up. Once again, be casual about this. Please be aware of your client. They have feelings and emotions, so don't be tugging on the hair. Here's where the trick really begins. Now you've got two sections. Here's my third shoelace that I'm gonna tie. Before I tie it, I want you to just spread these out. Now watch, I'm gonna reach inside underneath, take the first section that we tied, that comes underneath. Take the first section we tied on the opposite side, and I'm simply gonna add it to all the hair that I have in my third shoelace. Right in front of left, and simply come through, and tie, and place this back into the fingers. Okay, good. Now if you need to go back and just tighten up, just come back, tighten up, place it into the fingers. Okay, good, come back, tighten up. And I like them nice and tight. You can do them, certainly do them loose, but do them tight, then you can pull them loose as you go. Okay, let's go right above the ear. Now here's the trick. Because you're working with a round head, I want you to start to pinwheel your sections. So you can see it's vertical now. When I get to the top of the ear, now I'm gonna start to, stay, start to take diagonal forward sections, okay? So now go narrow, now watch my index finger on top, go wide, and now just draw to these two fingers and you've got your section. Now it's narrow at the bottom and getting wider at the top. So this will go with in formation with the shape of the head. Come to the opposite side. Now I'm gonna hold what I've already sliced, no need to put it in her fingers. Narrow at the bottom, wide at the top, slice, Take these two slices up and slice all the way up to your center part. Work with your hands and use your hands as your comb. Once again, very organic, a little bit more undone. Okay, now what's the trick? Once you're here, come through, reach underneath, grab that section, bring it back. Reach underneath, grab the section and bring it back. Now, right in front of the left, once you've done that, left over the right and simply tie a shoelace. Place it in between the fingers, in between the fingers. Let's go back through, just tighten up. Excellent, good, and tighten up. And we're doing great. Now, 
Let's take the head down so you can start to see it from a top view. Okay, make sure that there's no tangles in this. Another product I love to use is we worked Iron Shape 11, Redkin's Iron Shape 11 with a texture iron. But when you want a little bit more shine, reach for your shine flash. And just give it a nice coating, okay? And now you're gonna see it's gonna get a little bit more shine. Also, I like it because it gives me a little bit more slip. Okay, keeps the hair a little bit more together. Here we go, narrow over the ear. So watch my slice. Narrow over the ear, slice vertical down. Now it's wider there and more narrow. Just connect your two fingers and you're gonna get your suction. Okay, come over the opposite side. Same thing now. We're gonna start narrow at the bottom, come wide up at the top, and now just connect and slice the section. Now just simply bring the section straight up, get all of your tangles out, just working with your fingers in your hand. Okay, once we're here, what are we gonna do? Before you tie, keep your rhythm, come inside, and you're gonna come through and you're gonna take that first section, bring it back to you. Take the first section, bringing that section right back to me. Right over the left, and you can see my friends, this does not take long to do at all. I find that if I do, don't use the texture iron, what tends to happen is the, not, the, the slip tie, it tends to slip. So with the roughness and the, the grittiness of the texture that you get from the texture iron, it really helps it to hold and stay in a little bit better. Okay, just coming back and just repositioning, giving her a little bit more tension, good. A little bit more tension. So I think it's cool sometimes when you get the client involved. Now I think about customer service, when you think about that, they come there to be comfortable and really not do any work, but I think getting them involved in this really helps you out. Or if you don't wanna get the client involved, certainly grab your associate to help you out. Once again, look at these sections, starting to pinwheel. Narrow, slice down the center, okay? Wide to narrow. And now when you start to look at this section, you can start to see from the back view how the section is going diagonal forward. Whereas in the beginning, we started out vertical straight up and down. Okay, how far do you do this, Sam? Well, tell you what, you can do this as far down the nape as you want. So it's up to you in terms of do you want to have some hair dropping out in the back area? Okay, once again, method. Everything we do in life has a method to it. Slide out so I can see where I'm at. Great, thank you so much, Sarah. Coming through, grabbing underneath, and slide out and grabbing through right underneath. Coming through, right goes over left. Now, if you wanted to, you could certainly do this with layers, okay? I've done it with layered hair, and all you're gonna do is the hair that sticks out, just come back in, grab some grips, some hairpins, and pin it, and you're good to go, okay? I'm gonna take one more section, okay? And then I'm gonna go in and start to just tie this off. Okay, and you'll see how I tie this off. Now, really what's simple, guys, is this. I think when you work with long hair, it's all about preparation. How do you prep the hair? Remember, once again, we worked with a texture iron. Sometimes maybe you might want to work with hot rollers, but it's really important, or you work with a tong, and give it a, uh, you just tong the entire head. But what's really important, by doing that, you're actually giving it some bevel, some bend. And when you do that, what happens is, you're able to get a little bit more pliability. It's a lot easier to work, work with. Imagine if the hair is straight, it's a little bit more difficult to bend and get it to do what you want it to do. Here we go, shoulders forward, head forward. That a girl, thank you, Sarah. Now we're gonna come through, right goes over left. Now Look at the degree of shortness I have here. Don't concern yourself with that. Get in and just simply tie. Now watch, I'm gonna end this. Take these two sections together now. So I bring these two sections together. Once I bring those two sections together, just kind of twist in. So I twist in and twist in, okay? Now once you're here, all I simply want you to do is just tie a knot. So I come through and just tie a knot. See how those ends come out? I'm just gonna gather it all together now once I've tied that off once. Now come through and you're gonna come through. Value, remember, everything behind a chair has value in today's world. Value underneath, wrap the section underneath, palm of the hand swings around on top, grab and tie and simply turn over and pin and we're good to go. Okay, now let's talk about pins. You have a choice, you can use a grip or you could use a hairpin, all right? A grip, a grip, some people call it a bobby pin. A grip is a closed pin, so it actually has a foot and a toe. Not opening that up, sliding the foot right across where I'm at. Where you hold is where you pin your upstyles. So now I go in one direction, then the opposite direction. So my tension and my strength in terms of holding that is right here. So when we go in and pin this, watch what's gonna happen with the pin. Take the flat foot and the toe is up. Take the flat foot across and then bring it right back in in the opposite direction. So we've got two grips. Once again, if you feel you need to put another one, place another one. Where you hold is where we pin. 
Come back through, flat foot, back in, opposite direction. Okay? Where we hold is where we pin. Take another grip, flat foot, and then opposite direction. And we're good to go. So real simple in terms of working with a slip tie and how you work with it. It's real simple to do. You can leave this hair down. Imagine if we take a flat iron and we just simply wave through that and you're good to go. Leaving a piece down, or I could simply say, if I don't like this piece, let's just tuck this piece back in. But I'm actually going to leave that piece down. So once again, a slip tie, really simple to do. Product of choice to finish it, I'd work with Fashion Work 12, just going through, just giving it lights, little sprays. And then once again, if you want, you can come through and just loosen this whole thing up so it has a little bit more kind of a bigger shape to it when you finish it. Real simple to do, how do we do it? Simply go through, prep the hair. Remember, prepping your foundation on an upstyle is very important. How do we do it? In this particular case, we worked with a texture iron. A texture iron is cool because it plumps up the hair shaft. Remember, pliability, my friends. Now, once we've got that, then we come back through and we work through a vertical section in the front. Determine if you want any dropouts, and then I recommend you do your dropouts prior to starting. Okay? Once you've got your dropouts, then take two vertical sections, hand them off to your client, fingertips up, another vertical section, you come through and you tie it. Tie your second two. Okay? Now we've got two sections. Third section, you're coming underneath, grabbing that, feed it into your third new section, tie that, and continue the same process all the way through. Remember, when it comes to upstyles, it comes to braids, it's all about rhythm. Hope you enjoyed this. Little trick just for you to use behind the chair. <laughs>